welcome back to Let's Play the Space Bar on the Mysterious JG. Against my better judgment, we're going to try to play this game despite its constant crashing on us before. And hoping that I didn't just pick a save state which will land us in disk swap land right away. We need to talk to this lady right here. And start our flashback. Let's take a look at her first. Ah, that's easily the nicest thing you've smelled all day. I don't know, man. She kind of looks like a fish. Touch me and you'll be seeing stars. My cursor is shaped like a hand. And she kills you. I don't know. Thanks for puckering up. It puts your chin in just the right position. What do you think, Zell? Would a trisex dame... I mean... Do you think she and I... Ah, tell your hormones to take a rest, Alias. She only goes for guys with blue skin. Anyway, we lost our chance to talk to her, so we should not have done that. Let us instead load the game and not attempt to kiss a random person who has no interest in kissing us back. Didn't I just load this state and she was sitting down? I really thought I just loaded this state and she was sitting down. Boy, she sure is a great dancer, huh? Look at her just kind of... sort of... <laughs> swaying. Oh well. What happens if we uh, try to get her fruit? Now that we know what page it is that she likes. Now what do we have here? We can now put this on the page that uh, is her favorite page. And then we can uh, start to look at the book. Seed brought studies the photo with a quiet sigh. Or was that a moan? Suddenly her fruit drops to the ground right next to her roots. As inconspicuous as you can, you stash it quickly, hoping she doesn't notice. Alright, well, we got her fruit. Let's get the hell out of here. Don't say I didn't warn you, you animal. And she kills us. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to be able to take it quite that simply. Whoa, what are these guys? Fancy drinks. Looks like somebody left a couple of perfectly good drinks here. Stop it. You're knocking my delicate brain method about. And Lufnia, we could have you executed for such behavior. Okay. My and die. Oh, jeez. These two guys would look right at home next to a plate of spare ribs and some sweet and sour chicken. What a weird universe this is. Hey there. My name's Alias. What's yours? Address me as Ambassador Mai. Address me as Ambassador Tai. Like all peoples of the galaxy, we appreciate human mastery of slapstick comedy. Please humor us by throwing a pie at your face. <laughs> yep. We are very important members of the Frufnir Diplomatic Corps. We are on our way to an important post on Maraschino 4. Maraschino 4. Nice. Um. Ask you about parking tickets. It would be unwise to discuss that without clearance from the Frufnir Foreign Ministry. Hire me as an a or sing a duet. This this human is attempting to give us an order. Will the indignities never cease? We are on this biped infested planet for one day, awaiting our luxury flight to Maraschino 4. We decided to visit this establishment in order to absorb some local atmosphere. And instead we have been subjected to a non ending string of humiliations. Yeah, that's for guys. What sort of humiliation? Shockingly inappropriate. 
How's that asking for advice? Yeah, it's... yeah. You know, this probably isn't the smartest place for you guys to hang out. Are you implying that we shouldn't be treated with respect in all cases? I haven't been so humiliated since the authorities on Swizzle 3 requested that we pay our parking tickets. Yo, everybody, check out these guys. They look just like Polynesian drinks. What a guess! Not really a very clever barb, but... Oh, well, come on, they could be the killers. Now, would you please get down from there? I better not bother her while she's working. Maybe when she takes a break. Yeah, I could have sworn that it was state two, and then she was. There we go. So this time, no kissing. Hey there. My name's Alias. What's yours? I'm Celia. I don't fraternize with customers. Just watch the show and don't bother me, Alias. Yeah, she seems like a real sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, your mama rolling in her grave, rolling on some dude. She so asked about herself. Do it. Look, it's bad enough that I've got to do this lousy job. Gorb doesn't pay me enough to be charming. With a face like yours, you could make really stupid comedy videos. Huey observes that Soldier 714Z367 is a good bartender and he doesn't bother her. <laughs> Encyclopedia. Hmm. Rub my bag, teach me to dance, lead me to the hidden cellar, drive me to security HQ, lead me to the hidden cellar. Okay, they're all going to get the same answer, I think. Don't push it, pal. Ah, uh, Alias. I think we need <laughs> to put in disc three to make this work. Ah, uh, Alias. This woman clearly hates you and all other beings and doesn't want to talk to you at all. Please chat with her by using disc three. Okay, so uh, time for more chatting with the um, apparently hot, uh, you know, at least according to uh, Alias, but kind of embittered uh, alien chick. But this one's time sensitive. We've got to get her while she's on break, so we better knock it out now. The other flashbacks, as far as I know, Devin Seven doesn't show up until a little time has passed. But now he's here, he's here to stay. And the others we can take on at any time. So let's go ahead and deal with this one. Yeah, searching for content. Shut up. So what's a nice guy like you doing in a dump like this? It started back on you, Bleak. Trouble with the Akromati. They're really bad news. You know, they're tight with the Karpupu. Ooh. I like the poo poo. What do you do to the acromati? Nothing. Why would I bother with those creeps? Ah, that's like dumb. The acromati? I don't think I heard of them. I guess being human, you don't get out much. Perhaps you should resort to using disc two. What? Now come on, game. Ah, Jesus. She's offended that I haven't heard of her oppressors, so she's going to break off the conversation and make me start over. Ah, Jesus. Jeebus. Little baby Jesus. Little golden minder. <sighs> oh, 
voids to kill the uh, autoplay, which I cannot make stop. Yeah, when I get the round of doing the, if I LP the Zork games that I picked up, uh, we shouldn't have these disc swap problems. Hopefully. Yeah. Alias. Yeah. I think you need to put in disc three to make this work. I know, I know, and I hate you for it. Game. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I I uh, was working with one of the Zork games. It's crashy and glitchy as hell. It crashes too, but man, the the disc swapping thing was uh. Because I found a way, I found a patch online where you don't have to swap discs at all. But even though I remember when you did, it wasn't nearly as annoying as the way they handle it in this game. So, damn it! What's a nice guy like you doing in a dump like this? Hating you. All right, let's try being inquisitive because everything else kills you somehow. Or we'll crashes oh, the game. Oh, run in with the Akramati. They're pretty tough customers. No kidding. My family had to flee the planet thanks to those jerks. Also courtesy of the Acromati. I don't know where to go next. Come to the right. Let's go. I never liked the Acromati. They put out a good public relations effort, though. That's all it is. They've enslaved my people and ruined my planet. What happened? A rebel leader gave us a package to deliver off-planet. The Acromati tried to stop us and nabbed the name of the contact. The rebels, uh, the rebels they're here. Yeah. The Acromati are systematically breaking up Trisex families, enslaving them and taking over the planet. The rebel movement is trying to stop them. Let's see about the package. I think the escape is what we actually want to hear about. That's our flashback. It's supposed to go to some exec at Helios Agricorp who will change things on you, Bleak. Without the right name, I can't do anything with the package. The total package Lex Luger? It's just kind of looks sad. But... Silly. For the sake of your people and the movement. You must deliver this package off-world for us. The name of the contact is inside the envelope. Don't read it until you get off-world. If you're caught, destroy the envelope so the Akromati can't get it, and you won't be able to tell it to them. Only the contact at Helios Acroport can open this tube. It contains evidence to alert the corporate authorities to the outrages the Acromati have employed here. If the Trisex are to escape total slavery, yeah. the corporation must know. Those corporations would never go around enslaving natives. <laughs> That's just not how they do business. Oh, you must keep the tube dry. <laughs> uh, what are we doing back here? <laughs> wow, is that, are you making that noise, lady? Okay, let's save the game first off so that we don't have to keep bouncing back to that uh, conversation. What the hell's coming out of that ship? That's kind of disgusting. Okay. So we're home. We're on a barge, because as you guys recall, this is Canal World. One peak equals ten crab nets. You bleak boat association. We've got strong, weak current, strong current. We've got some warning signs before we're going to hit a dock. There's going to be a lock. Control tower. Inspection stations. Floating city. Water shoot. Imagine we're gonna have to somehow get on the dock and sneak around the control tower and avoid this lock, or to get past the lock. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure this out when we get further along. What do we got here? A four-foot tube. 
Whatever it is, it was important enough for Wuna to risk her life to smuggle it off world. Try opening it. Immediately lose. There's no apparent way to open it. Shake it. Well, there's something inside. An envelope. It's be important for Wuna to have risked her life. Would have told you not to open it until you get off world. Ah, I just wanted to see what would happen. Celia, use the QWERTY code in R mode to read these tips. Oh. Wow. Okay. Well, let's. Jeez, do we really want to do this? The QWERTY code is, uh. Where I think it's where you look at the key to the right of the. You get your keyboard and you look at the key to the right, so. PBR would be O V E R R I D R override because you're looking you're looking at your keyboard and you're looking at the the key that's to the well it's actually to the left yeah the key because it's the key to the right of what it, blah, blah, blah. this P if you look at your keyboard to the left of P is O because in the QWERTY QWERTY code R means basically that you're pressing the key to the right of what you would actually want to press. So O becomes P. That says override. Then um, L O C K lock. That makes sense. Override lock. C O N T R O L these controls override lock override the lock controls I'm gonna assume this says by no it doesn't say by that would make too much sense to uh, P A uh, to pass I N S P wait what to pass I N S P inspection. I'm going to assume that says station. I'm going to assume that says inspection station. Override lock to pass inspection station. Use a B A R G a barge. Use a barge T R A T R A I N use a barge train to B L O C K is this gonna be blockade? To block? No, to block P O L P O L I C police B O a T. Use barge train to block police boat. Okay. Override lock to bypass the inspection station. Use a barge train to block police boat. And uh, what is the last one going to be? I would have spent a million years trying to decode this while you guys read it. Or listen. Uh, it's going to be G R. E N Grand What? G R E N T I L What? G R E N 
T Grant I Grant L B E A S This one just isn't making sense to me. Hold on folks, I'm gonna pause the video for a second. Okay folks, we're back. Everything's okay. The last one says Grental Beasts love Babaloo meat. And I thought I was freaking out or doing the code wrong because obviously the first word is a nonsense word that was, you know, created for this game universe. So, there you go. Alright, so, what do we got here? We got our house, our barge, where we live. We've got our, looks like our beta male, and now something happened. He's our beta male buddy. Barman. He'll make a great mother someday. He's already a great nag. Mm, it reminds me of wearing nice fuzzy slippers. That'd be a switch. He's always grooming you. Tech. Barman doesn't like it when I practice my martial arts moves on him. He gets all bent out of shape and lectures me about rough housing. Something pretty condescending to this guy. Let's see. Hey, barman, what's up? Let's see if he deserves it. You've been tracking dirt all over. Yeah, he kind of seems to deserve it. Ask about myself. You look like Jerry Lewis, but wait, not really. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll just follow you around. You are looking particularly fetching. Danger becomes you. I hope there's nothing dangerous in there. What a great story. It's so moving. Farman relates that he has memorized all the songs. He'll sing them for you later. On uh, the audio cart, which I didn't really bother to find out what that is. The drill. Farman says you should really wear safety goggles when you operate that. I didn't leave it on, did I? Maybe we can try again sometime. You don't have any urgent projects. Oh, babies. By Zelbo's big toe. Don't drink any. Don't really know what's going on. Get a tan. Follow me. Run with scissors. Wait in the canal. Hand me a cute dip. I wouldn't risk it. I might put somebody's eye out. I am worried that the Akramati are going to track us down. Don't worry, barman. I'm sure we can get away without being caught. If they search our house, they're sure to leave an absolute mess. No matter what happens, sweetie, we'll be together and things will be okay. Well, that's fine, but if we go to prison, I don't have a change of underwear pack. What are you worried about? I didn't get a chance to bake a pie to offer them, and the other things I gathered up certainly are not up to snuff for offering the company. Go to hell. Let's focus on escaping until we get caught. Then we'll worry about being caught. Alright, so is he our only, uh. Oh! There's a drill. My best drill, but I'm worried that the batteries are on their last legs. This eating area has been the scene of many blissful family dinners, plus a few shouting matches whenever Barman yelled at Parker for not touching his boiled swamp weed. Where's Parker? There's a mural. There's an enlargement of a photo that Parker took of you during the first few weeks after he became your mate. A hanging chair. 
Parker's hanging chair is so nice the way it sways gently when you and Parker are both in it always gets you in the right mood, as if it takes much to get you in the right mood where Parker is concerned. Uh, Parker insisted on buying exactly this bed and exactly these sheets. He pouted for a month before he finally consented. <laughs> it's awful. It's horrible. Video equipment. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Parker's upgraded his equipment again. And you're still paying for his last upgrade. Mattress is shot and money has been too tight to afford a new one. A common Ublikian barrel chair. Okay, so he's following us. Where's Parker? There's prawns. A few adult prawns seem to have wandered up under the dock to die. Our man brought that kelp trap with the hope that catching his own kelp would cut down on the family's food bills. However, he was never able to get the hang of using it. In the end, our man was both helpless and kelpless. No kelp or anything else. Adjusting the hair. Your alpha mate, Parker, appears to be unharmed and unfazed by the explosion of his water scooter. Clearly, the Akromati intend to destroy Wuna's tube, or you, or both. If Parker had been a minute later, they might have succeeded. The Akromati must be hot on the trail of the tube. You've got to clear out fast. You inform Parker of Wuna's mission. Tell both your husbands to collect vital supplies to prepare for an imminent departure. Barman hands you a mirror and a candle. Parker goes into the house for a minute and returns with sunglasses and a sandwich. probably want to save again. We'll keep one slot outside of the flashback. <laughs> look at this guy and the hairy chest. Ooh, I can't look at him for too long without getting really turned on. Wow, if I do that again, I'll forget all about him. Oh, I'll forget, um, uh, our mission. That's it. I would only be accused of mussing. Hi, Parker. What's new? My entire ensemble. I'm surprised you didn't notice. I'm feeling fine and looking mighty fine, too. Well, I was going to ask you to check my jet ski, which was running a little rough, but I guess the point is moved now. <laughs> Why don't you ask me about something I know, like hair care products? Ask me about hair care products. Is that an option? Of course not, Drill. What would I know about your toys? Well, I mean, there was that one time we decided to bring toys into the bedroom. <coughs> Sorry. It was like a boring lube tube to him. He questions the need to lug it around. Signaling mirror. Hey, let me take a look at that. I clearly need more beauty sleep. What about them? They're like a U bleak nonstop card. I never leave home without them. Babalu sandwich. Parker teases that he loves these almost as much as you love prawn buddies. Yeah, the Babalu sandwich, as we have read, using the QWERTY code, is going to be used at some point to dispose of whatever the hell that made-up bug batter, bladder, bug batter beast of trawl thing is. Parker observes that the candle is effective for setting a mood, but he personally prefers a red light tub. It's great for floating on. <laughs> he really is an expert. You're kidding, right? Why don't you ask?
ask me about something I know, like hair care products. Last night was really excellent. I spent the entire time at a waterside cafe looking perfect and drinking some dirt swizzles. Did you meet anyone interesting? Not really, but more people try to pick me up than a hundred gazab bill. So, you were out looking for other company? Nah, I just like the attention. I set an all-time personal best record for pickup attempts last night. Fifty-seven. You know you shouldn't hang out at places like that. They're notorious sites for Akromati terrorist hits. The Akromati are the only ones who didn't try to hit on me last night. Well, perhaps we can talk about that later. In the meantime, let's just save our lives. Okay, if you get, I guess if you say so, whatever, jeez. Chill out, lady. Alright, well, we've done a lot of talking, which probably didn't accomplish much, and now I can't remember which slot it was we wanted to use, so let's go with three. So we can always just restart the whole thing if we screw up too badly. But it is, in fact, time to end this video. When we come back, folks, uh, we've got to somehow navigate our barge uh, to the spaceport without being caught by the Acromati, and, uh... Although I didn't see either of her mates in the space bar anywhere, presumably we have to keep these two husbands of hers alive. So uh, we'll take our best crack at it when we come back in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time.